In this video, I'm going to show you how to use filters and labels in Gmail. So first, let's understand what they are. So we all spend a lot of time organizing our inbox. And to make this process easier, we can categorize all of our emails into labels. And to automate this process, we can use filters. So that's basically what they are. So now let's get started. So first, let's understand what labels are and how to create one. So to explain this simply, labels are used to organize all of your emails into categories. They're similar to folders in Google Drive. So now I'll show you how to create one. On the left, you'll find an option called Labels. And then you'll find a plus button to create a new one. So just click on this. And now you can enter the name of the label. So as you can see, I already have two labels for work and extra. But let's say I want one for all important emails. Then I can just name this important and then click on create. So now let's see how to create labels. On the left, you'll see that labels is written here. And currently I have two labels called extra and work. And to create a new one, I can just click on the plus button that's here. So for now, I'll create a label for all emails which are related to YouTube. So I can just click on the plus button and name this YouTube and then click on create. And as you can see, this label has been created. And if you click on it, then you can see all of the emails inside this label. So this is empty for now, but now using a filter, we'll automatically add emails to this. So now I'll show you how to create a filter and then add that to the label. So a filter is basically a way to automate the handling of incoming emails. So every time you get a new mail, the filter can automatically categorize it, add a label to it and do a lot more. So I'll show you how to create one. So on top, just click on this button that's here. And now we need to decide on what basis we want to create a filter. So you have many options. If you want all emails sent from a certain person to get filtered, you can do that. The same way, all emails to someone or all emails with a certain subject line. So you can go through all of this. What I'm going to use is this option that's here, has the words YouTube. So now every email which has the word YouTube will get selected by this filter. And then I can decide what I want to do with this. They also have more options like within how many days, whether it has an attachment or not. And you can go through all of this. And once you're done, just click on create filter that's here. So now we can decide what happens to the mails that meet the search criteria which is YouTube. So over here, select this option, which is apply the label. And now just click on choose label called YouTube. So now every mail that we get, which has YouTube in it, will get added to this label called YouTube. And now before creating the filter, you can select this option at the bottom, which will add 76 emails from before, which match this criteria. So filters only work with new emails, but if you want to add emails from before, then you can select this option. So all of the previous emails will get added as well. Now I'll just click on create filter and it's done. So let's go to the label called YouTube. And here, as you can see, all emails which have the word YouTube in it have come here. So this is basically how to integrate labels and filters. And let's quickly see how it works. So I'll compose an email to myself with the word YouTube in it. So now I'm sending this email to myself. And if I go to the label YouTube, as you can see, it's automatically come here since it has the keyword YouTube in it. So this is how it works. And if you want to know how to clear spam from your Gmail inbox, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.